What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. So today we're going to be looking at 10 small just ease of life mods that are great for your survival worlds. These are all pretty small. They add just a few little things. Some of them I could even see being added in vanilla Minecraft. Others are just small things that make the game a bit easier. So the first one that I have for you is the Waystones mod. And as you can see, I just teleported from my little village over there to this jungle uh, forest. And basically what it does is you it just has the options of all the waystones that you've activated and you can teleport to any single one of them. This mod is great for just traveling and exploring a lot because you can easily find one of these and just go back home. Or if you have one built or one of the uh, waystone papers, then you can just automatically teleport to any of the waystones. This pair is great with the uh, towers mod that I have installed and I'm not actually going to put that one in today's list but it does pair great with that one if you want to download that as well. And that brings us to the next mod. This is the guard villagers mod. So what it does is it adds groups of villagers with armor and weapons into the game that help defend the villages. Uh, the only defense before is the iron golem but that can easily be overwhelmed, especially in the harder modes or if you're playing with other mods because there are now a lot of mobs. Uh, so guard villagers, they have crossbows, they have other weapons, shields, armor, and they will fight the zombies and kill them. As you can see, I'm in a hardcore world, so I actually put my base close to them so that they would help defend me as well as the villagers. Up next, we have a very simple mod, changes very little, but it is the Passive Shields mod. And as you can see, I have the shield in my offhand, but when I'm not actually using it, it's not on my screen. So this is something that really annoyed me in Vanilla Minecraft. It's that I always have to see my shield if I'm carrying the shield, and it made me not want to carry a shield. But with this mod, I can just not use the shield and I won't see it and it still takes up some of the damage if you don't actually put the shield up. It's a very small amount, but it's still something. So next up we have the back tools mod, and what this does is it changes the last used tool and it puts it on your back. This is just a very simplistic mod that changes the textures, but I think it looks really cool and adds a little fun effect to the game. I especially like when I change away from the sword and I have the sword on my back, I just think that looks super cool and I would definitely want this in vanilla Minecraft. Also if you're holding your shield in your inventory it will put your shield on your back as well with whatever tool you use last. Next up we have the cosmetic armor mod. So what this mod does is it allows you to change the armor that you actually see on your character without changing the actual armor on your character. So as you can see, I've got some iron armor, I have some Curse of Binding gold leggings, unfortunately, and then I have some modded uh, gem armor on top. But I can change the cosmetics of that armor with a little tool right here so I can make it look like I'm wearing leather boots. And also since I have a backpack mod installed, I can put the backpack actually on my back. So this is super useful if you have a backpack mod and if you're just in vanilla Minecraft, this is great if you just want to change the appearance of your character. So next up, I'm actually going to be showing off two mods here, and that is the Just Enough Items mod, which you've probably seen in a lot of other mod, mod packs and mod videos, and the Item Zoom Rekindled mod. So as you can see, on the right side of my screen, I have every single item in the game, and if I click on any of them, I can see its crafting recipes and if I hover over any items like I was in the beginning, then you'll see the zoomed up image of that on the left side of my screen. This is great for seeing textures of blocks and things like that if you're trying to uh, do some building and you're not really sure what blocks to use. And the Just Enough Items mod is great for finding every single crafting recipe. It's especially useful in modded worlds because there are a lot of new items and you're definitely not gonna know how to craft any of them. You can also toggle whether or not it's showing or not, and you can change the size of the zoomed up image. So all these things are customizable to however you like it. Next up, we have another very small mod, but this is one of my favorites. It's the odds and ends mod. So basically what it does is it allows you to craft lumps of coal, 
and these lumps of coal uh, can smelt one item each, and one coal makes eight of them. So it makes it much easier if you have an odd number of things and you're trying to save uh, your resources. This is a great mod for that. Also, it adds trash cans and fluid trash cans so you can dispose of items easier, and that's always a great add in Minecraft. So, as you've probably heard throughout this video, there are a lot of different noises that I have going on in the game, and that is because of the Dynamic Surroundings mod. So this adds a lot of new sounds and features to the game that see make it seem more uh, realistic and things like that. So when we're near villages, you can hear bells. When we're outside, you can just hear birds, things like that. It's a really great mod. And that also brings us to the next mod that we have, which is Stonehelm. This is something that I could definitely see uh, being a feature in Vanilla Minecraft later on. Maybe not in the same exact way that they do it with this mod, but it is still very cool. Basically what this mod is, is underground villages. So there's a lot of chests and loot to find in these villages, so they are great for gathering items. And also all the villagers have jobs and things like that so you can trade with them and definitely make an underground trading post. This is a very cool mod just because villagers of course can build underground, that makes sense and I can see this being a somewhat vanilla feature later on in the future of Minecraft. As you go deeper into these villages you'll find uh, more loot and then you'll start to find cobwebs and things like that where the villages have been abandoned. These are going to be dark and dangerous and you're definitely going to want to watch out for mobs. There's also libraries and things like that, so easy ways to find bookshelves and get your enchanting room going. This list of mods would not be complete though if we didn't look at a tree mod, and this is the tree excavation mod. There are a lot of these types of mods out there, but this is the one I use. What you do is you hold shift while you're cutting down a tree, and all the logs of that tree will drop. This mod will save you a ton of time, and I know I hate cutting down full trees, so I had to have something like this for my mod pack. And of course I put it in the list because it is not something that changes the game a whole lot, it just adds a small feature that you can use to save a little bit of time in your worlds. So that is my list of the top 10 mods for your survival world. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like down below, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We have a lot of other modded content and a lot of just vanilla content, building tutorials, things like that, so be sure to check out the rest of our channel. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you next time. And as a bit of a side note, if I do really well in this hardcore world here, you guys might see a 100 days video soon, but we'll see if I survive or not.